Thank you, Maya. Uh, good morning. Uh, I am uh, uh, presenting uh, uh, the Euromed uh, Cancer Project, uh, and uh, um, this is a, a project uh, on uh, uh, Euromed uh, on Mediterranean countries. Uh, and uh, there was a, a declaration in Barcelona in 2008 uh, where uh, uh, European Mediterranean states mainly uh, Italy, France, uh, and Spain, uh, pro uh, made a declaration promoting stability and prosperity through the Mediterranean regions. And uh, the Italian government uh, funded uh, uh, some projects. One uh, of uh, these projects uh, is a Euromed screen, cancer screening and early diagnosis program. Uh, this project uh, has been also referenced uh, in 2013, and uh, the main objective of the project is to offer a high-level uh, support to public health decision makers of uh, non-European Union Mediterranean countries concerning screening and uh, early diagnosis of cancer. Specific objectives uh, of the project uh, is to build uh, uh, up or enforce competence in order to set the priorities uh, for comprehensive cancer control plans, uh, including early detection and screening, and to choose among uh, suitable strategies, uh, taking into consideration best evidence, country needs, health priorities, availability of resources, uh, and the socioeconomic characteristic. And finally, to evaluate uh, the appropriateness, the efficiency, and the effectiveness of the taken action. The partners uh, of the project, uh, the CPO, the Cancer Prevention Center in Turin, is uh, coordinating the project uh, at the scientific and uh, administrative level. And uh, in the last three years, we worked in strict cooperation with uh, WHO had a quarter in Geneva and uh, office for the Europe base in Copenhagen, always, of course, of WHO, and uh, uh, with an uh, international agency for research on cancer based uh, in Lyon. And uh, we have uh, also the very important uh, support uh, uh, and work uh, of uh, an international steering committee uh, where uh, uh, expert from uh, uh, France, Spain, uh, uh, Israel, uh, and the uh, WCO organization uh, uh, gave uh, their uh, contribution. There are uh, uh, 17 countries uh, which were invited to participate in this uh, activity, and uh, uh, 15 participated uh, in uh, this period uh, to the screening project uh, in Euromed country. Uh, the milestones uh, of the project uh, were three workshops, uh, one in Rome in 2011, the second one in Marrakesh, uh, and the third one uh, very recently in Turkey, in At Antalya. And there was also a, a, a participation of uh, the uh, European PN School of Screening Manage Management uh, in, uh, in the two, uh, let's say, session in November and uh, in March of, uh, uh, this, uh, of this year. And six or seven of these uh, uh, non-European uh, members of uh, uh, Mediterranean countries participated uh, to these uh, courses. Uh, there was a, a questionnaire about a, qu a country profile uh, and uh, uh, we printed uh, uh, and is available on the website uh, the first uh, uh, report uh, of, uh, of the project. Uh, under construction, there is a, a European network for tutoring professional and screening managers in uh, those countries, and the piloting is a progress in uh, Albania, Jordan, Kosovo, and Serbia. This is uh, the cover of uh, the first report that uh, is uh, published about uh, the activity that we covered up to now. Uh, I mentioned the country profile, 
and uh, uh, the kind of profile uh, is uh, on uh, demography and socioeconomic uh, structure, organization of the health systems, uh, mortality and morbidity in those countries, and the impact uh, and the management uh, of cervical, breast, uh, and colorectal cancer uh, screening. Uh, well, these countries are uh, uh, quite different one from the other. When uh, you consider the uh, GDP, uh, there are uh, a lot of uh, differences. Uh, if you look, for instance, uh, to Croatia, uh, the highest bar, and uh, uh, the Egypt, uh, just to the right, uh, the ratio between uh, the GDP is uh, 7 to 1, comparing Croatia with Egypt. And the other differences are very, very important. And uh, also, the proportion uh, of uh, uh, health expenditure uh, is, uh, again, uh, very different, uh, irrespective of the uh, gross, uh, uh, absolute, uh, gross uh, product, uh, the absolute amount of the gross product, going from 15% uh, in Palestinian to only uh, 4 3% in Algeria and in Syria. And so there are, of course, uh, differences uh, in the uh, organization of uh, health services and availability of a treatment uh, for um, many chronic diseases. When you look uh, at uh, incidence of mortality, you compare the two. Of course, uh, there are uh, uh, important differences. But uh, in summary, uh, when you go to, for instance, uh, colorectal cancer incidence and mortality, you can see that uh, when you, you look at the left column, that is uh, Mediterranean European countries, members of the European Union, the uh, mortality is uh, more or less one third, 40% of the incidence is the left column, in most of the European countries, Mediterranean countries, non-member of European Union, uh, the ratio is close to one. So the mortality is very similar to, to incidence. And this is a, a strong indicator of the fact that uh, uh, treatment is not uh, uh, available for uh, uh, cancer cases. So we... Uh, analyze uh, what is uh, uh, the situation for uh, uh, screening. This is an example for breast cancer screening. There are different uh, uh, age groups, uh, different type of test, and this is also true for cervical cancer and for colorectal cancer, and uh, mainly there is a spontaneous and limited uh, uh, offer of uh, a screening test in these uh, this regions. The principal needs uh, that uh, we uh, were able to identify together with the participants are theoretical and practical training of involved professional, quality assurance and information system, data collection and analysis, monitoring of screening program, availability of guidelines tailored to local culture, and the economic analysis of the screening program. And this is also true for cervical cancer screening, where there is a specific program related to HPV vaccines and the introduction, introduction or not of HPV testing versus uh, cervical cytology. And uh, the same is for colorectal cancer screening, where the equipment for implementing screening programs is uh, considered a priority. Uh, I mentioned the site visits. Uh, we carried the site visit uh, uh, this year in Albania, Serbia, and Kosovo, and you can find uh, on the website the executive summary of uh, uh, these uh, this visits. And uh, in, uh, uh, let's say, conclusion, the strength of the project uh, is a contribution to build up a Mediterranean area promoting health and preventing cancer, the creation of a scientific network between and within health operator of most of Mediterranean countries and the opportunity to promote research and action in public health 
but the, on the other side, the weaknesses uh, are related to political commitment because there is an unstable political situation that causes interruption of a communication or slowdown of action. There is a high turnover of country representatives. There are bureaucratic and diplomatic obstacles uh, and uncertainty and in insufficiency of uh, financial support. And so the, this means difficulties in turning into action. The perspective uh, are to enlarge the partnership and reinforce funding, to be aware of a heterogeneity between countries, political commitment, health priorities, health system, resources are different, and differentiate the proposal for collaboration accordingly, uh, so from increasing attention to prevention to piloting a screening project. Everybody will run, but uh, at the most uh, appropriate velocity speed. And focus on action is, of course, a priority. And cancer prevention and control as a tool for making people closer in very sensitive areas of uh, uh, the world. Thank you for your attention.